my gosh, guys, we're coming in with some leaks, some new leaks that we just saw earlier today. So we're coming at you raw. Uh, it's not going to be edited much. So, uh, eek. Yeah, eek. You're getting girls and savers <laughs> raw. Sorry. Um, gird your legs. Raw and exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Raw, <laughs> exhausted, uh, just sped home from work. Because obviously I couldn't record this at work, so fi on work. Uh, yeah. yeah, but hello, leaks. We're we're talking yes. about it. Girls with sabers is dropping some knowledge, yes. and and we're gonna be fangirling. So brace yourselves. So first, knowledge, speculation, yes. and dare we say some diving down the rabbit hole and mispronunciation of names. Yes, yeah. I see that in our future. Yep, most definitely. Yeah, mispronunciation and <laughs> yeah. So, so come with us. Uh, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Spoilers if you don't want them, but we're speculating and we're going into some leaks. We're not Mike zeroing it or anything. We're just giving our speculations as to what we see. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Woo! All right. Basically, um, there is a another another Reddit leak. That's the place to to go. Yep. Um. It is a crew member received one of the gift packs that they seem to be handing out to the crew. It seems like and the building this... has wrapped. So a lot of the crew are now getting messages, notes, and little gift things um, just from JJ, Kathy K, um, you know, some of the other people working on the, the film. They're all getting their, their swag. And this Reddit user um, posted a picture of these items. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are two bottles. Yes. Um, one is the sand, and it's really fine sand mm-hmm. uh, from a sacred place on a familiar planet. Tatooine. The, yes. <laughs> The other is some black beans, and they're something to do with a, quote, unquote, a Jedi eater. Yeah, beans uh, or beads. We, we're not not sure. It says beans on this. Beans with an N? Yes. Oh, well, then like, they're black beans. Like black beans, yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, See, I told you it was, it was raw. Yes. <laughs> so the inscription on the left. Reads from a long time ago, not so far away. <coughs> Tat- <coughs> Tatooine. Yes. And then the inscription on the left reads, or I think she, I think this person meant right, um, reads, swallows you up whole. Mm-hmm. So um, this user on Reddit has some notes about the vials. So for those asking about the bottles, the sand, and it is really fine sand, is from a sacred place on a familiar planet. The beans are something to do with a Jedi eater whatever that means. Um, Then they go on to give their own speculations. Um, We know that Jedi Killer was Kylo's name in pre-production. The Jedi Killer. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm wondering if I got two forms of speculation here. One being, and it's cryptic, obviously they'd be giving these things out to um, the crew. crew. Remember, see the story unfold um, right. before their eyes. So they know what's going on and more what these Right, two but I'm, I'm wondering if these me. vials are hidden meanings, where the oh, yeah. sand represents Ray and um, her, her coloring throughout the, the films, especially... In the Force Awakens, the 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 light tan, you know, brown, whatever, and then the black beans obviously signifies Ben Solo, Kylo Ren is in his black, you know, garb. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm I I think because you think Jedi killer and you and then you you go back to JJ. It's like obviously someone they're trying to protect this picture, like if anything of this leaks they want to protect it so how that how can they allow this picture to surface without giving anything away so if you look at it surf on the surface this is what it could mean well obviously the sand is ray and the black beans are kylo 
<laughs> and I'm saying it's on the surface. Yes. On the surface. Yes. Now, that's one speculation. On the surface, it's obvious that Ray and, and Kylo Ren. So, whoopity-doo, Raylo's <laughs> endgame, folks. But if you go deeper than this and you look at what Tatooine and the Black Beans Jedi Killer swallow you up whole could could mean Jedi Eater. Yeah, it's a Jedi Jedi Eater. eater, Then this is where we go. Cat, get away. Go. (laughs) Oh my God. Raw life. Raw edited. Cords and cats, guys. Cords and cats. Um, Cords around me, cats on me. It's horrible. So, uh, Jedi Eater, then this means something entirely different. Yeah. And this is where the rabbit hole comes in. So, we're going to yes. dive in. <laughs> okay. The, the reason we think that the sand is not Ray is, represents Ray, is it's from Tatooine. Correct. Not Q. Tatooine, mm-hmm. which means it is referencing Luke. Yes. Um, and if you look at, if you look at the second trailer for Force Awakens, this is what it, it reminded me of, is you basically, I think, have the plot for the entire trilogy, just like the last tra- Jedi tra- trailer was the plot for the last Jedi yep. and the whole trilogy. Yep. You know, I need someone to show my place in this, and then Boom. bam, Kylo's hand. hand. Uh, you have that famous line that Luke says to Leia on the bridge on Endor, bridge, Endor, <laughs> where, you know, one Kylo, uh, one Ben Solo was conceived <laughs> on Endor. <laughs> like I said on Twitter today, you guys, if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, well, us, excuse me, us on Twitter, uh, follow us, because I post beautiful things. Um, I said, New title for episode nine, Star Wars, all about Ben. Yes. Or all about Ben. Or the last hope. Or the only hope. Yes. Um, yeah. Rebirth of well, hope. Well, and, and there's there's a there's a speculation that uh, the reason I say last hope is there's a speculation that the line was said in yes. the last that I. Yes. So Ray described Ben as he's our last hope. Mm-hmm. And wouldn't that be poetic that the first movie was called A New Hope and this movie would be called The Last Hope because it's the last of the Skywalker saga. <sighs> oh, man. That's a whole nother podcast. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta, come on. But, but no, but what, I know. I, what I was, I was saying is, you know, Cat. in that trailer mm-hmm. that, Luke is not talking to Leia. No, he's not. For that trailer, he's talking to uh, Ben Solo. I bet we're going to hear that again. JJ loves to throw stuff in that he's planning on throwing somewhere else. Because who is the family? Is Rey part of the Skywalkers? No. Who is? Who is the Skywalker? I know you know. I preach it to the Rayla (laughs) Choir. (laughs) Oh, oh, Um, me. Pick Pick me, pick me. Is is the sky is the Skywalker of the trilogy is Ben Solo. That's who's gonna come back because it's very it's it's been very established that Ben Solo will come back to the light in some aspect, in some measurement. I'm not saying he's gonna be a fully light force user. Star Wars but, Return yeah. of Ben Solo. Star Wars Return of Hope. Uh yes. Spark of Hope. Uh, uh, return of the rebellion. I don't know, but there's there's gonna be hope in there. But anyway, it's the it's the return of a Tatooine. It's the story going full, full circle. circle. Yeah, it's not Jakku, so it can't be Ray. It's going to the full circle because it's the Skywalker saga. So I don't think the black beans or the black beads, whatever have you, mm-hmm. are for Ben Solo. I believe that is the Skywalkers, that little vial of fine sand. Yes. Even though Anakin hated it. <laughs> He's just it's got it. Great. Do- it also comes full uh, back full circle because Anakin hates sand. Just like Finn hates Jakku. We're probably going to go back to Jakku too. We're going to the desert planets, y'all. 
Much to everyone's dismay, the desert planets are where where it it all you know Where it's at. Yeah. It's where it's at. Where it's at. Like uh like uh uh kyber crystals. <laughs> yes. Which we're also gonna touch on in an upcoming podcast. So we so stay tuned, subscribe, huh? We're gonna string you along, you gotta listen. Um so these the sand. It's yes. tattooing. Now yes. you have the black beads, which obviously it says swallow you whole. And that got us thinking we're looking at this post. Um they they referenced uh the creature and I'm probably butchering this name, uh, Tarantatic. It's kind of like this uh, Rancor type being, but it's way more dangerous. Cat, swoosh your tail by my mic one more time. As far as Jedi Eater, it harkens back to Legends, where we had um, the Tarantatic. I'm probably butchering that name. But the Tarantatics were creatures... and if someone in the comments knows I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, can you just phonetically spell it out for me and let me know? It's like saying, merciful saying Domnell instead of Donal. All right. <laughs> so uh, they were creatures which fed off the blood of force sensitives and inhabited caves and tombs strong with the dark side of the force. Several guarded the entrance to sections of... A tomb. I'm not going to even go there. Um, their claws and their tusks were poisonous. Mm-hmm. Um, that quote, those claws and their tusks are poisonous, is a quote from Luke Skywalker. Um, they resembled rancors, although smaller, approximately one fourth of the size uh, full grown of a full grown bull rancor, except they had a number of spines growing from their backs and a pair of flaps or tusk-like projections attached to their mouths. They also had massive claws, four to a hand. The tusks and claws of a tarantatic were highly venomous. It was theorized that they were once rancors. So we're probably not going to see this. It'd be dope if we saw it, but we're probably not going to see tarantatics. When we first started this channel... We, we that those infamous Reddit leaks came out of what a person saw on the story wards. And one of those leaks was that Kylo will be hunting down and killing the four sensitives. And we thought that cannot be possible <laughs> uh-huh. that someone like Ben would be treating uh, fellow four sensitives in that way. Does he want to kill off the Jedi Order? You bet. But the Jedi Order is not all the Force sensitives. So what we do see is we see Hux being the clear villain. And since Hux reflects Hitler so much, we thought we would see this kind of um, technology, science versus spiritualism, where Hux goes after the Force sensitive to commit mass genocide and kill them all. Mm-hmm. And Ben Solo will be saving them. So Luthien uh, made a point to me on December 11th, <laughs> way before the vials of sand and black beans. December 11th, uh, 2018, y'all. Yeah, we're and I'm going to show the screenshot right now, and you're going to hear it, and it will blow your mind. So <laughs> hear this, like, uh, four-minute little uh amazing theory that she had and then come back and we're going to comment on it yeah (laughs) and expand why we think this is reflective and the gifts that the crew received yes i think it would be very interesting if hux and poe aligned to take down ben Mm -hmm. and in that process Huck scientifically found a way to, which is which is interesting in and of itself because the force is living and it's in everything. It's in every one. Um, but it would be interesting if Hux found a way to get rid of the force, basically. It's just so insane to think that we could be right about this. Mm-hmm. 
because you always had that vision of Hux needing to pull everything from science. Yeah. And the fact that we got in canon in the book, just that he just despises anything dealing with the force. And now I'm wondering if what he's created might possibly look like these black beans. Like that's, Obviously, yeah. we're not going to get a Tarantatic. Like I said, if we did, it would be dope. But it could be some type of, I don't know, black hole, bubbly, like black bead looking thing. And it's pretty much a Force Sensitive's kryptonite. Yeah. Well, and you also have this creature hiding out in caves. Yeah. Um, and you have all of these uh, stories and rebels about young Padawans coming to caves to yep. find kyber crystals. You have also in rebels um, the the empire actually standing guard of these kyber um, caves and these temples to keep mm-hmm. Jedi's from entering. Yeah. So it'd be very interesting if. Hux is guarding one of those kyber crystal caves to kind of call forth uh, Padawans or the Jedis from coming to temples or uh, kyber crystals or like luring the force sensitive in. Yeah. I don't know. Just a thought. Yeah. <laughs> because what looks in a cave? Well, this, this Jedi eater. Mm-hmm. So it'd be really interesting that he does kind of like a concentration camp esque for force sensitive children. Yeah. And Kylo comes and saves them from such. And you know, there's that leak that is kind of kind of mirror the end of Pocahontas where where Ray will throw herself over uh Ben's body and protect him. I wonder if that's uh... just- because you, you, you made this point a long time ago. You could see him sacrificing his powers yes. out of sheer selflessness. Yes. What if he does that? Yep. What if he, like, um, like trades his life for these children for To hugs? be swallowed whole. Yes. Yep. And what if Ray won't allow him to do that or, like, will shield him from that? So you basically have... Um, Ben Solo sacrificing himself for the whole future of the Force Sensitives. Well, you look at you look at um, Ben. Or, <laughs> wow, <laughs> slip. You have the Beast practically dead. Yeah. And the last petal drops, and then Belle says, "I love you," and she's thrown her body over him, you know, weeping. And she says it before the last petal falls, and that is what breaks, it what breaks the spell. My horrible <laughs> French. French accent. Uh, raw, guys, raw. So, uh, she is going to it's lift the curse. <laughs> Holy crap. So, okay, so you have Ben, who's possibly... And this is, you know, straight head cannon speculation, but I don't freaking care fangirling. He's going to lay his life down. It's the only way towards redemption. And then Ray is going to sacrifice herself as well to block him, save him, bring him back. Someone's going to bring him back. We saw it in Mortis, the Mortis arc, that it can happen. Um, but it's, oh, I, uh the sand, the black beans, they mean something larger. We think. Well, like it could be the ultimate representation yes. of the light and the dark. Yeah. In the if you look at like science itself, black means absence, mm-hmm. light means substance. Yeah. And what would black do? It would absorb all of substance in order to, for absence to take over. Yeah. So it, it would make sense that basically the energy that binds us all together, Hux has this mind, uh, kind of like uh, mad scientist 
thinking that he can get rid of the force. And he can't. And he can't. Yeah. So it'd be really interesting that if the force itself or Luke or somebody intervenes and uh, Kylo and Ray die yeah. as a way of sacrificing their life for these kids. Because I want to say this right now. I don't think either one of them will die permanently. No. But it'd be interesting if they did die for the sake of these children, but then they're resurrected somehow through the force. And that's how they, uh, Ben sees his redemption because a lot of people are like, well, what can he do mm-hmm. to himself? Well, if he gives up his life for all these people that are force sensitive, yeah, I think, I think the galaxy and the people would forgive him. Oh, totally. Totally. Because he's their last hope. Yes. It needs to be something so monumental. It can't. He will have already redeemed himself in the eyes of Ray at this point, I feel. But something needs to happen at the end of this film where he redeems himself. Not only to the galaxy, but to the to the the people watching. Yep. In the real world. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be, and and Hux needs to be unfreaking hinged. Oh yeah, he you know deserves what... the most. And I think, I know, Donal can pull this off, but mm-hmm. he needs to be just this most insane, crazed, rabid animal now, who will stop well, at nothing. I mean, that's that's how. Uh... That's how Snoke describes him. Yeah. As a, a rabid, rabid cur. Mm-hmm. And basically, that's, the, I think that's even what, how uh, Ryan Johnson described mm-hmm. him. That's why he allowed so much mockery. Right. Because he thought he was just feeding a rabid dog and, like, poking him. Right. Well, this <laughs> rabid cur where... is not yeah. going to be manipulated anymore. But yeah. But now he's, he's unleashed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And all fury and all vengeance. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't. He is fully dark. Is he a dark side force sensitive? No, but he is fully dark in his soul. Yes. He's the one that that planned um, with Phasma to kill his own father. Kylo didn't want to. He was uh, he was in misery and. Yes. Uh, debate throughout that time he killed his father because Snoke told him to do that Mm -hmm. and he took an oath to obey Snoke right and he took an oath to obey Vader Mm -hmm. I think Mm -hmm. so but this this guy has no conscience Hux has no conscience yeah ugh 346 days, 346 oh. days. Oh, you know that leak? It's my favorite, favorite, favorite leak of all leaks, where someone says that uh, Ben and Ray will be crying in a cave. Yes. I wonder if that's the scene where they find the Force sensitive and what Hux is doing to them. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Either that... All- Either that or Ray finds out that Ben, you know, because some of the leaks say Ben's going off on, you know, you know, different missions and stuff. I'm wondering if he's found out and he's trying to save them and Ray finds out that he has been trying to save the four sensitives and then she realizes it. And that's when he says, oh, you must know it was all for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now where's my cat now when i need a cat when i need one it's not here <laughs> isn't that just the way of cats exactly I was Come here, the you same. all right so, so that's there, so that's it <laughs> that's our wild speculation yep. folks yeah we we drank some white we drank some black and we're going down that rabbit hole yeah Yes, if you liked it, awesome. If you didn't, well, 
Thank God we didn't live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Emrys, and with Luthien, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon that will give you notifications every time we post a new one. And of course, like, comment, and do all those things. <laughs> Peace, love, and Raylo, guys. All magic comes with a price.